What we have here is a piece of apparatus that allow you to calculate the speed of sound. The apparatus consists of a perspex tube, closed at one end, open at this end. At the open end I have a loudspeaker so I can pump sound into it. The loudspeaker is driven by this function generator with an adjustable frequency. We're going to start with a frequency of 625 hertz. Inside the tube you'll see there's a little microphone on a stick and the position of the microphone is marked by this flap of cardboard. The idea is we've, we're going to send the sound through here, but we've chosen the frequency so that we get resonance. So in other words, we'll get a regular set of nodes and anti-nodes along here because it'll be a standing wave. And we're going to measure the distance between nodes because from that information we can work out the wavelength. We have wavelength, you know the frequency, and you should be able to calculate the speed of sound from that. Well, let's uh, start the experiment. Oh, you'll notice here that I have a, an oscilloscope. The oscilloscope is connected to the microphone, so you'll be able to see the output of the microphone. Wherever you see a high amplitude output, you'll know that you're at an anti-node, and when you see low amplitude output, you know you're at a node. So let's start moving the microphone. You'll see we're approaching an anti-node, approaching a node, and you'll see, I can't say that's I'd say the node's about there. Now that's the position of the first node. So let's find another node. Okay, approaching an anti-node. Approaching a node. So that's it. And for good measure, we'll find the position of two more nodes. Anti node. Node. I know you want more, so I'm going to find one more node. Turn that annoying sound off. All right. You may remember that the spacing between nodes in this situation is a half a wavelength. So I'm going to measure the two nodes and that will give me one wavelength. All right. I make that 55.5 centimetres. Okay, See, so that's the wavelength. So frequency of 625 hertz, wavelength of 55.5 centimetres. Now, don't forget to convert to SI units. Now, being scientists, we don't rely on one measurement. We're going to repeat this measurement with a different frequency. OK, I'm back again, but this time we're going to be using 885 hertz.
And I always like to give you more than you need, so we'll do one more. Okay, what's the wavelength? I'd say that is, let's see, 39. 39.0 uh, centimetres, I'd say that is. All right, you've got enough information, go away and do the calculations and let me remind you again, don't forget to convert to SI units. Thank you.